hi welcome to the another video first of all again uh, god bless you first of all and uh, you love my videos i'm just helping you guys and because of that i'm getting blessing a lot of blessing uh, from my god so i pray for you you please pray for me as well so i'm very happy for you uh, i'm very happy for the people i got some very outstanding result uh, last week uh, some people get more than 90% and two people get 100% marks. So in this video, um, I will share that four question. One, uh, my student, he got 93% marks. Then he done the question exactly same question how he did in the exam. So I'm going to just copy his questions as then you can get benefit as well. And if this question come in the exam, you can get higher marks as well. So first, uh, I want to share some outstanding result. Uh, look, this 99% uh, Mr. Okon get 99% outstanding. And uh, the next one, he got 93% marks, which is unbelievable as well. Very nice. Uh, other one, he got. Uh, uh, 98 this is a very good result as well and this person he got 89 and this one is 100% look guys wow it's unbelievable he just logged into my system and just practice we don't speak uh, he just logged into my system and practice practice he got this very good result uh, he got 95 awesome and uh, yeah so these are the my outstanding result I want to share with you guys these people get um, uh, in the month of January, February, and the March, uh, which is unbelievable. Uh, now, in this video, as I said, I'm going to put the question. Um, one person, he did it, and he got 93% marks, which is I have over here. Uh, I'm going to share with you these questions. Uh, since only it's going to be root planning question, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the topographical test because I receive about 100 calls every day. So it's difficult to answer. So please uh, listen these instructions. Uh, information is very very good for you. So the topographical mess, the test is 100 marks. So four question is going to be the root planning questions, uh, which is 75 marks, um, and um, the eight marks is going to be uh, the compass detection question, which is free on my website. If you go on my website, write S A P C O, uh, then you go to my website there is a free uh, compass detection question if you just click on uh, uh, these three lines over here then you go to a to z mock test uh, then scroll down there's a compass detection question um, eight marks so four mark uh, four question is a root planning question which is 75 marks uh, then there is a compass detection question four so this is going to be eight question now other 18 question is going to be the book from uh, uh, this book which is free as well if you want to try these question you should try this as well but first you're gonna watch this video go to my channel just write it on SAPCO in YouTube uh, then you go to uh, this one then go to playlist then uh, go to A to Z questions uh, which is over here then you must watch you my video uh, just uh, upload just now uh, so you must that is you will learn 18 marks so hope so you understand as so the second video you can see uh, you must watch this second video which is say uh, this one so as I explain here how you can earn the 17 marks uh, so hope so you understand so this is going to be the 17 marks sorry 18 marks from the book uh, four is going to be compass detection and four is going to be the root planning so i want to show you how the exam is going to be look like um so the exam the picture it should be look like this uh, you can see at the bottom you say click here to flag the questions click here to view the assessment you can flag the question you can uh, review the assessment whole and you can see there's a, a next button previous question next question and you can see at the 
uh, right bottom you can see this screen little screen here is a question number one to 26 so there's a 26 question so you can click any question you can go to that question um, and uh, on the left hand side you can see the, the, the question is written you no need to read that question but one question where it said note you can see note manor park road is closed so in one question one road is closed so you must not use that question otherwise other, sorry that road if that road is closed so you must not use that road because that is closed uh, so this road is closed in that uh, particular question if this if there's other question come and you have to use that man road, park road you can use it hope so you understand this point because a lot of people say oh this is manor park road is closed in this question but if there's a different question you have to use a manor park you can use it but in that particular question you cannot use it so here you can say there's a start drawing uh, there's undo there is a clear you can clear or you can change the brightness and home button so uh, here you can see little uh, submit button at the bottom as well so when you finish these uh, all the question you must submit it but if you don't submit it, it's going to be saved. So please listen. This all the instruction is is important. So you first start with the route planning question in the real exam, route planning questions, because that is seventy five marks. Other is uh, only uh, twenty five marks. Compass section and the book question and book question takes time as well. So you should not waste the time on the book question first. Just click the question or press next next. Uh, you can just um, use this small screen on the on the bottom right this one you click number 19 it should be from the 19 or 20 you can start you can check the root planning questions uh, and don't get panic as well please and you must do some practice then go uh, to the exam a lot of people i've been doing this more than three years a lot of people fail two three four times so you guys are asking me these kind of question every person is different some people watch my videos only 1% people they pass but most of the people they need a practice practice um, I myself failed the test first time as well because I went without practice so you must do practice and then you should uh, go for the exam so I have a package I make this package for you guys you can go to my website and check it please uh, which is unlimited packages I just make it for you guys uh, when it means when you apply for the PCO you can start these packages as well uh, this is not for a couple of hours it's for unlimited days it's, that's going to be good for you uh, because nobody knows how long you take time to learn this uh, stuff okay so now uh, thank you so much for listening to me now I'm gonna uh, start the questions this person he got uh, the marks 93 I'm gonna do exactly so I'm not going to teach, but I'm going to just going to copy his uh, method. But he copied me how I teach him. So that's going to be okay as well. So first question is, was this one. It's around the Hammersmith page. He, we're going to start from the green, finish on red. So how I, he did it, I'm just going to copy. So we need to draw the most direct route uh, from green to red kind of straight line. Sometimes we can't get it. So here, be careful. You can't go here because it's one way. So we need to follow one way. And we're going to go here, here. And uh, and this is the one way. We have to go turn left. We can't turn right here. So he did like this. He came here, here like this. Then, uh, so he did not go to the Hammersmith Bridge. He just turned here, 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 here. Stay on the left hand side always. Please zoom like this here. So we can cross this one. There's no line in the middle of the road. Main to main road crossing is always not an issue here, here, here. Oh, uh, I think so. He just missed some marks in the compass section question. 99% of people lose marks in compass section. If they get more than 90% marks, they lose in compass section. Uh, but if you fail then you lose in in the route planning but this guy uh, he got I think full marks in the route planning so I'm just gonna copy him so from the roundabout just do round 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 do not do straight line like this um, like this stay on the left hand side here 
here. So he just come to this roundabout. Here, here. This red is we can cross this one. It's a sign. You can check this sign in the on the first page of the book. What is this sign means here? It's getting kind of straight line. Uh, and uh, my red, we have to go to the Putney Bridge now. Here, here. Fulham High Road. We can turn right. This is not a big issue here. So we're gonna do the planning. Yes, I uh, can see that we have to go straight here. This is one way we can't go here. We can turn right here now, and uh, I'm just copying his his way. Uh, yeah. So if I was him, I could do this way as well. Uh, yeah. So from my side is good as well, and this is proof from the TFL as well. That's why he got ninety three percent marks. Yeah. So this is was the first question how he did it. Now we're going to move to the next question. Before we go to the next question, uh, I, can, I want to show you something. So I have these all folders. One folder is this real exam. So this is 70, 80 questions. I just gather when the people go to the exam, I just gather in this way. So these are coming again and again as well. So please uh, just buy the package. I'm not pegging, but uh, I'm seeing these things the people are go in the exam and they fail then they come back again so that's I'm just helping you guys and I'm now making money as well uh, as compared to the center so this is the help I'm providing so that's why I'm just getting it a reward as well so let's move to the next question question yeah this one uh, this question is coming again and again in the exam as well so I just I'm gonna do copy here's how he did it uh, so we start from the green finish on red how I did it uh, he start like this There's a one way we can't go here. So he just came uh, Here 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 He used this one here. He just used this thing this uh, to approach to this road and This is the roundabout a lot of people they do go from here. You cannot do it just we're gonna turn around from the roundabout like this here here and a lot of people they just go to the East Ham Barking Road bypass uh, that's gonna be not good as well uh, we're gonna go here he did like this I should say this here here he went like this this black line is a railway so we can cross this one here he went here this is kind of roundabout this roundabout go round, 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 uh, roundabout here, here. Uh, he went uh, like this. This is a roundabout. Go round here. Don't be confused. This part over here. We can't turn right here because this is close here, here, and finish on red. So he did like this. If you get this question please do like this as well and this is a hundred percent good right so let's move to the next question uh, here so this was a question uh, as well so this question is coming again and again in the exam as well so how he did it uh, he just followed the one way then he did like this then he went this way here 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 now th there is no line in the middle of the road so turning right is a fine he did exactly like this here here so my red is over there so we are just here this is kind of roundabout here just go here keep going just keep going straight just this railway line line so we can cross this one so here my right is over there so we can't go straight we have to turn right here uh, like this here and and this is my right point and uh, yes this question is very very important coming many many times in the exam so please try to remember if you can so yeah use like this 
okay let's move to the next question which is the last question uh, this question could be 20 marks four question note planning one is 15 marks other three is 20 20 marks so you will have a very low margin of doing mistake because if you do one mistake silly mistake if you go into the one way or other thing you're gonna get zero marks and uh, it's gonna be difficult uh, if you get zero marks in 120 marks it's difficult to pass then so be careful so in this question manor park road is closed and i mentioned how do you know the manor park road is closed so i'm gonna show you the exactly how it's gonna be look like in the real exam look they said note manor park road is closed so do not use the manor park it's gonna be written on the left hand side so how he did it uh, he just start from like this here here now the manor park is gonna be start from there he just come here here like this and uh, here uh, and uh, he went here rather than coming to this road he went this way this is gonna be best way here so we try to stay close to the manor park as well don't go away uh, very away as well uh, so here can I just come over here just try to avoid the manor park road here 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 and just let me uh, draw this is a manor park starting from here we are going to use this part like this okay so this is a manor park just keep doing it whatever we're doing it here it turn left then here and we can turn right is not a big issue here and that's it so the way he did like this so these four questions is coming again and again as well a lot of people my student every day five six people go to the exam uh, and then they're Could doing the, again? they're coming again and again so hope so you understand and there is other question you should try on my website which is free um, just just pray for me I need your prayers and um, because when you become, get your PCO license uh, you take care of your family and uh, please remember me in your prayer as well uh, I will pray for you as well hope so you get the very good marks like above 90% and um, and you get your PCO license as soon as possible so please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh, thank you so much God bless you